Kobe Bryant was undoubtedly one of the greatest basketball players to ever grace the court. It's just a shame that we lost him so soon, but his legacy on the court will never be forgotten. In today's video, we gathered up a ton of times when Kobe showed next level scoring, whether that was in a single game or a stretch of games throughout his career. Number 10. We're going to be starting this video off with Kobe Bryant and the Los Angeles Lakers taking on the Portland Trailblazers. The Lakers were entering the game on a horrid seven game losing streak, and they desperately needed to get back into the win column here. Kobe knew what he had to do, and that was score points and at a high pace. I think it's safe to say he did just that by dropping 65 points in the contest to lead the Lakers to a 116-111 win in overtime. He made 23 out of his 39 shot attempts in the game and made 8 of his 12 three-point attempts. What makes it even more impressive is that he only made 11 free throws during that game. Portland just had no answer for Bryant throughout the game. Number 9. This next game was insane, and it took him less time to put it all together than some of the other performances. On December 20th, 2005, the Lakers were playing at home against the Dallas Mavericks. The home crowd was really fueling Kobe for a legendary performance, and he delivered like he always did. Bryant dropped 62 points by the end of regulation. Surprisingly, that seems normal when talking about Kobe, yet he was able to score that much despite playing in just under 33 minutes, and he never played in the fourth quarter. He connected on 18 out of his 31 attempts on the night and drilled four three-pointers to bring it all together. On top of that, Kobe shot 25 free throws in that game. These are the kind of performances that he made look easy due to his phenomenal scoring ability. Number 8. The Black Mamba really took his game up a notch when the Lakers went up against the Washington Wizards in this matchup. It was back in 2003, which means that Michael Jordan was still playing for the Wizards at the time. Kobe knew that Jordan would be defending him at times throughout the game, and he wanted to light up one of the best basketball players of all time. And Kobe did just that by dropping 55 points on the Wizards. He made 15 out of his 29 shots, which included 9 made 3-pointers. He also took 18 free throws, converting on 16 of them. Everybody knew at that time that nobody could ever replace Michael Jordan in the NBA, but the performance definitely started to show people that sooner or later, nobody would be able to replace Kobe Bryant either. Number 7. Madison Square Garden, the stadium that's considered the mecca of basketball. It's also the place where all these NBA players want to dominate because there are so many people tuning in to watch. Kobe knew that and wanted to put on a show for the fans watching this game. In 2009, Kobe broke the record for the most points scored in the Garden by a single player by dropping 61 points. Now, that record was eventually broken by Carmelo Anthony a few years down the line, but nobody would forget about this masterpiece from Kobe anytime soon. He connected on 19 of his 31 shot attempts and made every single one of his 20 free throws. It was such a strong showing that even Knicks fans in the stands started to chant Kobe's name. Number 6. Now we get to a scoring stretch, not a single performance like the others so far in this video. When Kobe was 34 years old, in his 17th season in the league, he became one of the most incredible scorers for his age. Bryant was the oldest player in league history to ever score at least 30 points in 10 straight games. Michael Jordan and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar both tied for second place in this category with five. Kobe averaged 30.1 points, 5.3 rebounds, 4.9 assists, and 1.5 steals a game during this stretch. There are few people in the league who can do that at all, and yet here's Kobe doing it in his 17th season. Number 5. One of the games we happen to talk about already makes an appearance in this upcoming scoring stretch we're going to cover. This stretch took place in the 2007 season. We're covering a 17-game stretch here, one that saw Kobe average 40.3 points a game. During the first four games here, he was averaging 56.3 points a game. Yeah, you heard that correctly. He cooled off a little bit, but was still dropping 40-plus points as if it was nothing to him. One of those games happened to be the Trailblazers game from earlier when he dropped 65. He wasn't just shooting more either, he was shooting well. Kobe shot 47.3% from the field and 35.3% from the three-point line. Pretty good numbers considering he was probably consistently double-teamed during this time. Before we move on to the rest of the video, make sure to head down and smash that subscribe button. Anyways, let's get back into the action with number 4. We'll jump a year earlier now to 2006. 
The Lakers were struggling to make the playoffs at the time and needed somebody to step up big time and make that last second push. Kobe knew what he had to do and he led the team to an 11-4 record in their last 15 games to finish as the 7th seed in the Western Conference. How was he able to do that, you might ask? Well, he averaged 38.7 points a game during that stretch. He had 50 points or more in three of those games and he couldn't be stopped by anybody. If we isolate those last five games in this stretch, you'd see that he actually raised his average up to 39.6 points. He didn't cool off at all when the season wore on, in fact, he got better and better. Number 3 Back in 2001, Kobe led the Lakers to an NBA championship. However, we may not have seen it happen if Kobe wasn't such a ridiculously talented scorer. Throughout the postseason, the Lakers had a 15-1 overall record, and Bryant averaged 29.4 points throughout that postseason to help them achieve greatness. Kobe dropped 48 points against the Sacramento Kings to close out that series and averaged 33.3 points against the San Antonio Spurs in the Western Conference Finals. He stumbled a little bit with just 15 points in the NBA Finals opener, but got back on track the rest of the series. Number 2 The last scoring stretch that we're going to talk about came in 2003. This stretch went on for 16 games with the Lakers having a record of 13-3 here. Kobe was shooting the leather off the basketball, averaging 40.4 points a game. He was shooting 47.5% from the field and 42.9% from behind the arc. Bryant had over 40 points in 11 of those 15 games as well. It was almost foolish to try and defend against him during this span as nobody ended up successful and Los Angeles was just getting win after win. Number 1 We've got to end this video with his most iconic scoring performance, his 81-point masterclass in 2006 against the Toronto Raptors. The Lakers won the game by 18 points here, and so much of that was because of Kobe. He knocked down 28 out of the 46 shots he attempted in this game, including 7 three-pointers. He also hit 18 out of the 20 shots he took at the charity stripe. Now, you might not remember this, but the Lakers were actually down by 18 points in the third quarter, and that's when Kobe unleashed his power on everyone on the court, dropping an unbelievable 54 points in the second half alone. He was responsible for all but 18 points that the Lakers scored in the second half. It's also the second greatest number of points ever scored in a single NBA game to this day, trailing, of course, only Wilt Chamberlain's 100-point performance. He wasn't just getting left wide open either. Kobe was consistently getting double, sometimes triple teamed, and yet he was still taking and making every single jump shot. He shot 61% on the night, and some of these highlights are still just incredible to watch even now. Hey, that does it for this video on the next level scoring of Kobe Bryant. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to click on the video that appears on your screen now as YouTube themselves think you might like it.